Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our camping and survival series as well as part of our Amazon review series. We've got another product in today and uh, right now I feel like I should be on Wheel of Fortune because I would really like to buy a vowel. Um, but <laughs> I definitely can't pronounce that if you're supposed to pronounce it that way. It may be uh, just some kind of odd acronym or something like that. But anyhow, uh, as you can see right here, we have a, well, obviously a nylon bag with uh, their logo and, and uh, well, letters, whatever they are, on it. But what this actually is, of course, is something inside the bag, uh, which is a cooking grill. Uh, for those of you who do uh, bushcraft or anything like that, uh, or just do some general, uh, more primitive style camping and don't bring along an actual grill. Uh, this is just kind of the grill surface so that you have something to cook on. Uh, now this is just made out of uh, regular stainless steel. Uh, it has of course the cross grid pattern here and if you can see it, I'm not sure how well that comes through, but this is the, these aren't straight uh, crossbars here. They are the wavy style. Um, so slight variation on it. Now it is fairly close together so you can put fairly small stuff on this. Uh, and this is, if I remember correctly, I believe it was um, 7 by, I think it was um, 7 by 12, uh, if I'm, if I'm uh, remembering correctly. And uh, it's pretty, pretty standard and straightforward. Hey everybody, as you can see, I've got the uh, screen out here and uh, got a nice little fire going. I went ahead and used the blocks to kind of hold it up because uh, I'm going to do this um, and I'm going to cook on it before it gets all the way down to coals. Alright everybody, so we got the fish on here. This is a piece of steelhead uh, that I bought. So, uh, you know, and then I, I put a little bit of salt, pepper, and uh, some lemon juice on there. Now, I like the way this is set up with these uh, squares, like I mentioned before. Uh, they are close together, they're only maybe a half inch. Um, between the uh, between each one of the little lines there and uh, it it makes me feel a little bit more secure when I'm cooking on it because I don't feel like I'm gonna lose part of it down through the side like if it was just one that was just in one direction uh, I feel like sometimes those ones like when you're working on a regular grill it would uh, slide down through those uh, through those bars or something like that but here it's not gonna do that uh, it's real nice and secure uh, now we'll go ahead, we'll uh, get this all cooked up, and uh, you know, we'll take a look at it once it's finished. Alright, so here we go, I just flipped the fish over here, and as you can see, it did get pretty dark up here at the top. I'm not real worried about that, just for the fact that uh, I don't do much with eating the skin. I'm not in a survival situation, so I'm not, uh, I'm not worrying about having to get all those uh, fat calories or whatever it is that I'd be losing. Uh, so, but I, I wanted to basically this is just kind of a test for the for the screen and you can of course see the lines there um, They look they look very nice. Uh, it, it made it uh, really nice to and easy to flip over uh, It did stick a little bit of course because you know, it's not oiled. It's not a pan or anything But uh, we've got flipped over. We're gonna cook on it on this other side. It should be just about done uh, of course, it is a cooler fire now. It is most of the way down to coals, uh, so it should be um, a little slower cooking on the other side. All right, so here we go. It, uh, it's all cooked up. It looks a little pinker in the camera than it does in real life. It looks a little more white uh, in real life, but uh, yeah, it cooked up nice. Now on this side again, like I said, uh, it was cooled off a bit, uh, the fire, so uh, we didn't have the lines there. I also didn't leave it on for as long. And of course the top was already at least heated up a little bit and kind of crisped up from uh, cooking on the other side. But this looks like a great piece of fish I'm ready to eat. If you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. Uh, I'll have a link for that down there. And of course, while you're down there, you've got the uh, links to the social media. And uh, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as hit the subscribe button either down in the corner or down below the video and ring that little bell. Uh, my name's Cougar. This is the world of me. Another episode from our camping and survival series as well as our Amazon review series. I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later. Bye.